until yesterday, I was blissfully unaware that a certain product, which will be the subject of this video, existed. But now I've read about it, and I thought I'd share it with you, dear viewers. Sometimes things just shouldn't be invented. So this is the product in question. Dissolvable glitter capsules. And of course we know glitter is mostly made of plastic, so it is terrible for the environment. And although that's important, it's sort of a side issue. The main thing is where the capsules are dissolved. So, if a heterosexual lady is planning to have sexy fun times with her partner, about an hour before things get underway, she takes one of these capsules and inserts it in her vagina, so that when her fella starts thrusting away, he gets a shiny cock. Who the fuck is this for? So, one of the many issues I have with this product is that anyone who's worked in manufacturing will know that silver glitter looks a lot like iron filings. And if I were a single man and found myself balls deep in some tart and it appears she was leaking metallic swarf, I'd be wondering if she had a lathe up there. Because to the best of my knowledge, I have never met a woman who could use her penis flytrap for a spot of metal turning. Either that, or I'd be worried that I was fucking a Terminator. Rather unsurprisingly, medical professionals are warning against using vag glitter, saying that the particles could get stuck and lead to serious infections, or that the friction generated could leave one or both parties with the equivalent of sunburnt genitals. There's a phrase I never thought I'd use. However, the manufacturers say the capsules can also be inserted anally to, and I quote, make using the restroom more fun. Who has reached a point in their life where they're thinking what would make them feel more enlightened, empowered, and more complete as a person is sparkly turds. Now, I don't wish to be crude, but we all have bodily functions, and maybe I'm just being old fashioned, but whenever I finished a bombing run at the porcelain dam, I tend to just wipe and flush. I don't stand up, turn around and admire what I've produced. And more to the point, I wouldn't look at it and think that would look better with a metallic finish so I could get friends and family around to have a gander at my glittery shit. When I was a kid growing up in the 1980s, we thought that by the 21st century, we'd have flying cars and holidays on the moon. Instead, what we've got are women who are one step away from shoving the decorations off the Christmas tree up themselves and people who want their crap to glisten in the moonlight. What a time to fucking be alive. As ever, thanks for watching. Until yesterday, I was I fucked it up already, blissfully unaware that this product fuck, existed. That's it. Heterosexual lady who fancies her fella doing some skiing on her pink run who fancies a blast from the baby batter cannon. So a heterosexual lady who fancies playing a co- oh, oh, fuck it. Turn off, you bastard. So a heterosexual lady who fancies playing a tune on the spunk trumpet. <sighs> Acid. For anyone under the age of 35, once you get past 35, you're pretty much fucked. The thinking behind it, they'll fuck that up as well. But the thinking behind it is, oh, actually, oh, there we go. New tattoo, fucking get me. Yesterday, I had nearly. <laughs>